right, good morning, guys. It's been a minute since I recorded. But every time I was gonna record, it started raining, so. Yeah, I'm not recording in the rain. When I see other, <clears throat> I don't like how rain vlogs look. It just looks so whack. But it's 8 a.m. We out. Okay, there's a kid walking into me. It's 8 a.m. We outside. I would have started a little bit earlier, but I had to get my coffee and my whack ass avocado toast. I, I don't see. I don't see what the fucking big deal is with avocado toast so i just accepted an order and i have no idea where it's going i'm gonna do it <laughs> i'm actually gonna do it actually never mind it's murray's bagels nah fuck it i'm gonna do it we're starting the video with a mystery order the first the first one i accepted it was a six dollar like a 17 it said what six dollars 17 minutes but yeah i just accepted a second order it was like another 650 i believe but I don't know where it's going, so fuck it, we're gonna do it. We're gonna be surprised today, dog. Alright, so I just picked up both the orders. So that mystery order that I accepted, it turns out it's really close. It's actually like a block away. So this worked out perfectly. Normally when I accept orders on accident, I don't actually do them. Because I remember once I remember I risked it like twice. The first time I did it, um, it were in like this in this case it worked out it was a it was a close order and then the second time i did it that thing was sending me fucking deep and then after that i just never did that again no more surprises no more mystery box hey one thing i wanted to talk about um so on doordash we finally got the uh the we finally got the update that the rest of the world has. Bro, cross the street, get off your phone. With um the acceptance rate, if you do the if you get to 50%, like they'll send you like quote unquote high paying orders. If you don't know what that is, the high paying orders is literally just like a dollar to mile ratio. I believe it's like 150, a dollar fifty and above is classified as a high paying order. So technically you can get a four dollar order for one mile and they're considered high pain when we all know that order is mid at best since we're in um new york and we had like some laws uh about like protection and shit i don't know if the camera caught that but i i was putting that shit in quotes how we're all supposed to be like equal and all that bullshit I never thought New York would get that law. I mean, not the law, the uh, that update with the with the high acceptance thing, the diamond program. I never thought we would end up getting it, but I logged on yesterday and it was there. Now, personally, I don't know how this is gonna like I don't know, I guess I'd have to try it and see because I'm basically experimenting like all year. I've been experimenting with Grubhub, DoorDash, Top Dasher and all this shit. So I'm, I'm, before I even like talk shit about it, we're going to see how it works out. I just hope it don't cause more saturation. That, that's the only thing I don't like when, app, when the, the apps make changes. They usually lead to more saturation on your market that's why i'm like against everything i'm like just keep everything the way it was like two three years ago but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see all right i just waited in traffic what the fuck all right that mystery box order just got dropped off interesting re uh interaction right so i'm walking up to the door the door opens and there's a little child just like staring at me. <laughs> like, you know when you're approaching like a door and like it was so fun. And then it's uh like a like the dog will hear you and start barking. That's exactly what the kid did. Except that he just he was just staring at me. And I was just like, um <laughs> So I just I just like like called inside to the house because like I'm not about to give the food to the kid. <laughs> 
and the mother walked out she was like i was so confused like what's going on and i was just laughing go my guy go on to the next you gotta hustle by any means boy look at my son out here delivering my son delivering laundry dry cleaning on a scooter bro that's the definition of any means necessary right there yeah, they said to leave. Huh? We go out and make the Oh, alright, thank you. Alright, that order was collected by receptionists. They had me, they had me take a service elevator. Yo, New York is so fucking noisy. They had me take a service elevator. I mean, not an elevator, entrance. But there was no security guard there. So I was there waiting for like five minutes and then DoorDash sent me an order in the meantime that I got to go to before they gave me a contract violation. One is all right, but two is, two is pushing it. All right, so we got the order. We arrived to the store on time, so no contract violation. Let's see, West 20. Right. I was staring at my phone because, like, that's usually not a drop off location I get a lot. Like, it always amazed me when there's like places in the city I hadn't went to. or barely go to because that that's like a work building like an office building so you think they'll get orders more but then again to be fair i deny a lot of orders going over there simply because i can't be bothered yep. i am 90 percent certain i'm 100 percent certain this is a leave-in ele um this elevator is going to take me straight to the apartment Cause yeah, look, you need a key card. So yeah. Good morning. Thank you. You're welcome. And I was correct. All right. Yo, New York is so fucking noisy, man. But right now we got a seven from DoorDash Taco Bell order. This is another one of those stores where in every content creator video I see, they always say it's trash, they don't go there. But mine's all ready. It's like it's like Popeyes for me. Everyone hates going to Popeyes, but my Popeyes are always ready. It just shows you that like everything you see on um in these videos are market dependent. Oh, come on, dog. Which is one of the reasons I don't give like tips videos because it's like everything. I can't speak. All right, everything varies. We in a rich project, son. Always when you come here, remember which exit you came out of M or T. Or else you're going to have to walk around the whole fucking block. Best part of coming into these rich ass projects, they always have hand sanitizer. Small W's, bro. Now, if you've seen some of my old videos, yeah, if you've seen some of my old videos, you know. I absolutely, I absolutely hate shopping. <laughs> but for 1050, I'm gonna do it. So this one. So that one. All right, I missed the screen that showed me how long it took me to shop this order. 
it was really quick though like maybe like two three minutes but i was stuck in line behind a um a lady trying to get the discount or some shit and one of the items was a covid test so they keep those behind the counter so i had to wait i had to wait uh for that for that lady mind you it was one lady on the line holding up the whole line you have no idea how bad I want to be like, lady, you ain't getting no goddamn discount. <laughs> it's six dollars, dog. Alright. Alright, And the drop off is like a few blocks up. Let's do it. Just got the order dropped off. Again, I skipped the the screen where it shows you how many how how long it took you to do the order. I was just in a rush. Morning. I got Craig. Thank you. This is where knowing your market comes in handy. So this building, you, you never go upstairs. You just leave it in the lobby. So I already know. I could have saved myself a bike lock up. And just go inside. All you have to do is just write uh, the apartment number. Right here. Take my picture. And we're out. See, just like that. Nice and easy. What is this? I believe this is my first Uber order for the day. Yeah, I haven't really been keeping up, but I'm pretty sure this is my first Uber order for the day. Because, as you know, Uber's been shit recently. Guys, look at look at this elevator. <laughs> this elevator is so small, I have to leave my backpack outside. Look at this shit. Bro. There's no space in here for me and my thoughts. Yo, let me know in the comments. Do y'all want a video, like a montage of Manhattan's smallest elevators? Cause I mean, look, look at this, bro. I I'm leaning against the wall right now. I can't even stretch my arm out. That's ridiculous. That's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, so I just took a break, like a hour, a little over an hour. And this is why I keep all my apps on even when I'm still on break. I just scooped a, a double 22 off of the garbage radar. Somehow I end up getting it. I'm not even near the store. But it's slow as hell. So I would gladly take this order. All right, he told me it's seven large pizzas, but there are 16 inches. If anything, I could put two of them in the bag, in the backpack. Pretty sure it could hold a 16 inch, I think. I oh, know, we gonna find out. And if anything, I'll be like, yo, let me, let me hold a, let me hold a, um, what you call that? I just if I could borrow one of their bags. <laughs> So since it's seven full pizzas, I went and got a second bag of, while they're preparing the order, just in case. Got a shit ton of pizzas boy look at this shit that's crazy <laughs> that's fucking wild big ass bungee cord i'm actually have to
<laughs> All right. So this order was part of a double order, right? But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna unassign the other order because on Uber, you can't choose who you deliver to first. And yeah, on Uber, you can't choose who you deliver to first. And I didn't want to deliver the other order and have all these fucking pizzas sitting on my bike outside. Cause that's just asking to get stolen. So, we're just gonna do this one order. Also, because my fucking backpack is so huge, I can't sit down on the bike, I'm just standing on pedals. <laughs> and I gotta make sure I go slow, limit my lane splitting, all the etc. I'm gonna see y'all when I get there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're doing the stack. Just got both of them. So let me start both deliveries. Which one's closer? The DoorDash is actually closer. Yeah, the door dash is closer. So that's what we're about to do. So this um this lunch is actually kind of slow. Even though I'm getting orders, it's kind of slow. So I'm gonna keep that in mind when I'm selecting orders. All right. So uh, both these orders are going to. They're both on meter doors. So I just deliver the first one, about to head over. And the key to orders like these is always text them before you get there. I texted them I was five minutes away when I was like 10 minutes away. And we got here in perfect time. All right, we got a close uh, 650 order from DoorDash. Currently, the way has just been uh, most of my earnings recently. It's been kind of like switching around. Like for the longest time it was Uber. Then like last couple months it's been Grubhub. And now it's DoorDash. So I never tell anybody to like delete an app, even if you don't like it. Like I don't like Hungry Panda. I still got it on my phone. I don't know when I'll use it, but now it's there. In case I ever need it, you never know. In two years, HP might be the best paying app. You just never know. All right, she was waiting for me downstairs, and I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here. There's only like 30 minutes left of lunch. Here. It was, it was like it wasn't slow, but it wasn't busy neither. It was just I. It's been like that all day though, but I'm not complaining, some money better than no money.